In this is um, VR 12,000 just newly um, arrived. Um, okay, let's look at it. It's, you can see all the components. This is just the receiver. This is the receiver. The receiver box. The entire circuit here is, is the transmitter and it has the connecting cables to the probe. This is the connecting cable to the receiver. And here you have your antennas and you have your rods. You have the headphone. The headphone is for for you to detect your frequency noise. Um, you have the chargers, and that is the power here. Um, this is the volume. Um, the volume to control the frequency. At least it will be um, through your headphone. The volume could actually be adjusted through here, and that is also an interesting thing here. Is the electric. You can see your power can actually be changed checked on before you go to the field and also these are all your horizontal and vertical you know the vertical uh, probing you can see the the knob here you can actually change it depending on the horizontal uh, um, distances you are looking at that radius in which you want to actually detect and that is your vertical knob here you can see as you are actually going down you can see this gets up to 250 so this is actually goes goes deeper than the other one unlike what we have before this is about 250 so that it does it for the two knobs here then this is for your frequency now you can actually change your frequency here is silver gold sapphire ruby emerald and, and diamond now what this does is that you know at various um, frequencies um, where you actually want to detect you need to actually change your knob to that particular uh, frequency now something again is very interesting because before you start using this you need to know that first of all you need to avoid magnetic field high magnetic field somewhere close to you know um, strong magnetic field sources like our speakers like some other metallic um, object in the field and also again do not charge it um, directly under 230 volts and another thing you need to know is uh, never you the the antenna that actually plug your positive and negative can be removed when this is actually on when it's transmitting you don't remove that that can actually cause damage to this uh, system or also injury to the operator and okay also when you are actually targeting you need to understand the location because so many factors like the dielectric constant of the ground is is a very very important factor the object you're actually looking for the depth the um, the orientation of that and also uh, especially in a very wet soil clay and sand with high conductivity of uh, of the ground it can actually falsify your readings so you need to understand that so um this is actually based on the on the electromagnetic uh, principles what it does is that it did creates the electromagnetic uh, field um, um uh, it creates um, the transmitter itself creates an electromagnetic field and when this electromagnetic field actually encounters a metallic object it induces uh, a current uh, and creates a secondary electromagnetic field that now interacts with the receiver coil in the equipment and the receiver coil detects and measures the changes in the electromagnetic field, which is actually caused by the presence of the of the metal object itself. So the, the equipment uh, circuitry analyzes these changes and provide an indication or signal to the operator, alerting them that the presence of approximate um, uh, um, to approximate location of the metal object. So this is how this actually works. So I think um, we will go to the field later on to test different uh, frequencies there are different frequencies that this can actually range for like for example that of uh, you can see what is actually written here you can see some frequencies of um, you can see silver you can see the frequency range you can see gold you can also see the frequency range so we have the high frequency here about 1999 megahertz that is coming out from gold and also for date so it can actually detect different uh, metals based on frequency range you've actually um, tuned into.